Oh, looks good. All right. We're going to be talking about this episode today, The Wolf of the Fold. Um, I don't... Actually, no, I do remember. Sorry, I, that's a lie. I literally read the synopsis because I was like, I want to pull up a good gif for what, what this episode's about, and then I realised, oh. Oh, yeah. I know what it's about. exactly about. So I lie. Uh, I said that. And I, I, I lied. And I apologise on behalf of everyone. Now, I did have a spreadsheet open, and then my PC crashed. So let, let me bring up that spreadsheet of Star Trek. Who doesn't do like me some Star Trek? Um, is that loading? I can't tell. I can't see one of my screens. Doesn't look like it. There we go. All right. This. Oh. This episode. Let's scroll, 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 scroll. It is written by Robert Blotch. Blouch. Uh, don't recognize the name offhand. Let me put memory off and see what see if you wrote in the other episodes. Oh, I think I do. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the guy right uh, um the book of uh the book that Psycho is based on. Um yeah, no, I don't remember now. Remember exactly. See, so yeah, I wrote the episode. Who directed the episode? I think I see it. This is Joseph Pibney. We're getting directed pretty much all the episodes, including the next episode we're going to watch. Uh, so, quite a few. Uh, this episode airs on the 22nd of December, 1967. But, what pray tell? Happened on that very day. Well, let's find out by the magic of the internet. Once he loads up the day and the, the, the website. Here we go. Uh, the Graduate. Comedy drama starring Mike Nichols, starring Dufton Hoffman and Anna Bancroft. Premieres. We've got Best Director. Best Director Award. I've... I feel like I've heard the movie, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, it's one of those ones where you always hear about it. Never seen it. All right. Uh, who was born on this very day? Um, Dan Petros, Trosu? Romanian football manager and professional football player. I don't know Romanian football. So, yeah. Um, Mike Sullivan, NFL center for the Tampa Bay Bucks. Hmm. Uh, Richie James Edwards, the Welsh, uh, the Welsh rock musician and songwriter for the Manic Street Pre Preachers, who apparently went missing in 1995. No one ever knows what happened. Okay. Hmm. There's a story in there somewhere. All right, what the f okay, we'll, we'll let's quickly. Let's have a quick, quick look. Like, I'm, I'm curious what, what, ha what the fuck happened? Like, holy shit! Okay, we might be here a while. I'm not going to read all this. Um, so he flew to America. In two weeks before his disappearance, he drew through two hundred pounds a day from his bank account. Which total by the day of the scheduled flight. Wait. Oh, well, they were due to fly to America. And two weeks before the disappearance, he'd moved through £200 a day. Um, it's not known whether he intended to spend the cash during a, during the US tour or whether it part, was part to pay for a desk that he had ordered it from a shop. There was no record of this having been paid for. That's, that's weird. It feels like a tax avoidance thing if you try and. Yeah, you're paying someone off if you're withdrawing two hundred pound a day. That's a lot of money. That's that's sixties money, not sixties money, nineteen nineties money. I'm thinking of Star Trek. So I'm like, it's sixties. Um, yeah, that's that's certainly interesting. 
There's another story now. At some point, I may have to. I may be curious in looking into it. But let's let's carry on with who was born this day. Roland Holder, uh, a cricketer. Uh, I don't know cricket. And Lee Krieger, American actor. And let me see if I recognize anything else. This is Cam Lake and One Way Wahani. Nope, I'm pulling up. Oh. Uh. Hmm. Not pulling up anything. It's pulling up someone else entirely. Let me see if we can clear this out. Eh. It's another story where I'm like, oh, that's curious. Nope. Right, no, no Wikipedia page for him. Well, that's weird. Anyway, let's skip that. We'll go. We'll carry on and watch. We'll just go on to Star Trek. Um, what was the number one in the US? It's still the same. The US have still not moved on from daydream day believers. Uh, and... People, everyone in the UK is still saying goodbye and hello. But, you know, hello, goodbye by the Beatles. And that is all that happened on this very day in Star Trek. Um, yeah, let's, let's watch this episode. So, uh, I'll queue it up. Let's just go back there. Okay, so this episode is 50 minutes. And 39 seconds. And yeah, it's it's a strange one. It's the Yeah, yeah, it's the um check the ripper spirit thing. Let's just start. Uh what's that? Three, two, one, a go. Little, 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 then. Little, 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 then. Mm. Achilles. I feel like I, I feel like there's maybe like Argelians feel like they'd very very much fit in in a, in a on Risa. Do they have um we'll go back to this planet? Mm. Yes, he's thinking of his men. And not all the pretty ladies. Not to think of the pretty ladies. I like the pretty ladies. Do they ever go back here? I don't think they do. Can't see any reference in any other episodes other than other episodes referencing this. Oh. Wow. Spin! <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love Sky's just like, no, 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 we clap. 
Oh. Would you like one of our pillows? This. No, oh, actually, where's that coax? Just like, I'm actually try it yourself. <laughs> Wait, let me mention an explosion. I don't. Oh, well, the women, who let's go. Oh, 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 what are the women doing on this, this place? <laughs> Welcome to the pleasure planet of many. Cedric likes their pleasure planet. Let's be honest. Yeah, they're, they're big fans of pleasure planet. <sighs> Jesus, a double. T I know. Scotty, what have you done? Vinyl Frontier. Dun dun. So, Voyages of a Starship Enterprise. It's a five year mission to explore strange new worlds, seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. <laughs> Sorry, this is just it's, it's really just like uh, uh, it's, it's so so like old old school. Just like she did her own choreography, but the censorship concerns had to cover up her navel. You know, where the lads like, whoa, look at that navel. Whoa, whoa. It's like what? <laughs> whoa. Oh, wait, I'm looking at the special. Why am I gonna weird? Arthur. Looks like special effects. The special vote. That's where I put on the original version. I love where they just reuse a bunch of outfits. Like they reuse a bunch of costume, including like old, old TOS, yeah, old cage uniforms, it's bad ones.
Oh, wait, what, where did I copy the sound? Oh, I'll copy the next line. Scotty, did you commit the murder? No. Mm, apparently, this is the first one to reuse all old music. To completely utilize stock music. My detector readings. What? The law of Hercules is love. We love, and it's only love. See, Bo. Wait. Oh, yeah, I forget. Apparently, they reused some Alex Courage uh, theming, which. Yeah, apparently he fell out of um, Gene Roddenberry because he Gene Roddenberry tried to wrote lyrics for the Star Trek theme so he could basically c claim the rights, claim half the, the royalties, which is a very dick move to do. Like, it's a it's a dick dick move. Why is that game? Oh, I forget that. Uh, yeah, I forget that guy's. Pretty sure that guy's evil. Oh, yeah, it's old stuff. Weird. Remember that we've got a slight dodgy disc, which seems to use no effects and old. I guess he's Spock in charge of the bridge. I just not, I I remember a line saying something from Strange New Worlds which was mentioned. I just didn't realise it was, took place apparently took place on this planet. It isn't yeah, it's not nothing on screen, but it's just interesting. Don't trust that guy. He's clearly suspicious. I don't know if any I don't know this. Information Society, I've never heard of that band. I mean they don't link to a, a Wikipedia page, so I'm assuming they don't 
I may have to check that at some point. And apparently it's some, sampled on another uh, some more music. Weirdly. Sibo. I look at some of the actors in this. Oh no, someone else has been stabbed. Oh, again. We put a knife down. Someone else has been stabbed. Who plays Sibo? Mm. I'm confused. I'm just like someone just like. I guess they have a stage name. It doesn't specify. But... It's like the name is like very different from what apparently their birth name was. Person play Sibo. It's just weird, weird how different it is. Oh, well, I didn't know the murder. No way. The fucking hair. Prefects. Oh, I realize the same guys in um oh, what's it called? Uh Return of the Archeon. Archeons. Archeons. I know it's wrong, but I couldn't help myself.
Just get on with it. Come on. Uh, did I remind you that I... I mean, fair enough, to be fair. He, he sounds a little bit like... He, he does sound a little bit like Pinocchio, but... Mid, I remember, actually. Um, guys, do you remember that your uh, your your ca your commander, he's, uh, he was with um, the murder victims? Okay, Mambo Jumbo. Ooh, Hello, Spock. What's up? Yes, I look. The box is like this mumbo jumbo. It's bullshit. Oh, this over here. Anger, hatred. Oh god. Oh god, it's it's Twitter. <gasps> the light went out. But, hey, lady, I'm just going to set you down. Oh, God, no. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, what have I done? I just, I just set her down with a knife to her back. Oh, shit. Oh, now put a knife in her back. How am I going to explain this one? Ah, no. Hmm. I guess. I like the fact that apparently 
the machines on on the Enterprise in this era are just like, yeah, no, they're so strong that you you can't even lie. I'm like, where? Uh, are you what, mate? Because that's that's some kind of bullshit. I'm like, what? You what, mate? I'm gonna bring us up in the IMAX. How do you things? But I did get this recently. Look at that! I'm on Power Rangers seven. Got us to burn. It's like two things I love. Just one. I just want to. I had that with cider. Yeah. Anyway, Scotty is. Yeah, these machines somehow will pull out the. You. Yeah, if you're lying up. His hand? Why they've both... Why did he? I guess all the women are dead, so no one can testify. None of the women can testify. Hmm. Let's go take the stand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, the no, no truth, nothing but the truth? Working. Verified. Still, this the hmm. How do you account for the wife being dead? Mm-hmm. Something. Oh, sorry. I was like a ward in my ass. No style like our changes. Uh, they basically have like a lie detector, which, as we know now, lie detectors. I don't. I don't know if they knew then, but lie detectors are bullshit. Weirdly, Americans just seem to have some kind of like have some of a fucking. But yeah, lie detectors are complete bullshit. Yet so- somehow Americans still use them. I don't understand it. It's like you know they're unmissable by court. You know if all you need to do is tense your butthole, and they will fool a lie detector. So maybe this thing you need to tighten your butthole. This is weird as shit. Hmm. Yeah. I, uh, let's go. I just like 
this character. He's just such a dick. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you kill anyone? Did you kill anyone? What did you? Oh. That's not true. That's impossible. Tell us. Pikachu. I just... Mm. We can trust you, kind of. Why is he very, like, I don't know what... Arabic style? Like... Yeah, kind of Aladdin style costumes. Did you send something, Sipo? Mm. Mm. What is this ancient terror? Working. Affirmative. Right check. Right. Dun, dun, dun. It's uh, these names. The where a lot of these names come from. There we go. Oh, this is the... And he killed... Yeah, and check the Ripper. Seven red check, which is from China. Yeah. Five women in the USSR. Hmm. 
and eight women are Martian colonies. Which 2105 is like about 50, 45 years before like Enterprise, Star Trek Enterprise. And then other places. Working. Mm. Fairy tales, yeah. It's all smoke and mirrors. You're making things up, yeah. Seriously, that guy's fucking annoying. Do we have any any memory beta stuff for check? No, apparently, yeah, there's a, a a TOS uh comic TOS T T N G. A few TOS comics as well, but Oh, Ooh, pardon me. More women are more easily terrified. Spock, uh, what? Mm. Working. Ah. <gasps> Oh, who was on that planet? Was it you, you cheeky little bitch? <laughs> oh, that's not crap, but what are you talking about? Oh, that's extend.
I know something of the law, and I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible person. What? Rigel 4? You were on Rigel 4, remember? Get out of here! What the... I'm going to push everyone out of the way. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. You really kicked Kirk. Like, that was fucking impressive. And that, that didn't look like a stunt performer either. <laughs> dun 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 Uh oh. Yup. Wait, he's got stuff that will tranquilize an active volcano. I'm sorry, what? You're a doctor. I don't manual. I don't got manual control. Hmm. Terror and death. Uh-oh. <laughs> the ship's the ship's trying to threaten us. This is this is weird. Hmm. Uh-oh. 
Oh no. It's I love the fact that the, just like we drug everyone on the crew. I just How's everyone's fine. I'm... Uh, where is it gone? Maybe one of the two people that haven't been drugged up yet. I thought he died. Didn't he die? Pretty sure he died. Am I mad? Or is he just controlling? <laughs> Smoke just goes, nope, get the fuck out of my way, you drugged up my, my bastard. It's like, I'm gonna do this. Well, I guess he was dead because they beamed him out into space. <laughs> you didn't have to shove me. It just keeps stopping. Just the women are so. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, that was uh, Wolf in the Fold. It's a, uh, it's an again, it's, it's just a a weird TOS episode. It's kind of interesting, but also weird and interesting. Yeah, and there's an ex an explanation for like yeah. You know, it's, it's, I feel like there's very few episodes that are like explanations for like kind of classic like uh, uh, folklore and that, that kind of thing. But yeah, and we're doing the next episode, which is, oh, no. It is, whoop. And it's the trouble with trip. Wow, that is a long ass title. Whoop. The Trouble with Tribbles! That is the next episode! Which I am looking forward to doing, because that's... This is a classic episode. Everyone knows Trouble with Tribbles. Everyone loves the Tribbles, right? I, do you have a Tribble? No, I don't have a Tribble. I should buy one. I saw them a lot of conventions. I should definitely buy one. Hmm. Something to look out for. Okay. Alright, I'm going to be right back. Uh, I need to flip the disc because for some reason this stream we were doing three different episodes and we got we're flipping between three different discs because the tribbles on this this set gets its own disc because it basically has the tribbles episode the t um the animated series episode uh, and the DS9 episode and some of the extras from the DS9 episode it's all tribbles it's an all tribble disc um yeah we'll be right back as I get that ready. So, yabby. Oh, for now I say, live long and prosper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>